you can handle this? Welcome to the show. Today we have a four-year drover on to talk about the men's soccer season and what we can expect now that conference play is in action. This is In the Saddle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Welcome to the show. Today we have Chris Andrews, a senior with the men's soccer team. Thanks for being on the show, Chris. Thank you for having me. So, we've, season's off to a pretty good start. The guys are 4-2. and two. We enter conference play. Um, so, tell me how the season's going for you. Uh, the season's going pretty well. We're, like you said, we're 4-2. and two. Um, I think looking back on it, we'd like to be 5-1, and one, but just the one loss to Bethel, mm -hmm. who were ranked um, postseason number 5. Um, and like you said, we're going to conference today. First game at home, St. Greg's with a lot of confidence um, and I'm pretty sure that if we work hard, um, play as a team, uh, the result will take care of itself today. Okay. And by the time the show airs, we're actually going to have this game completely under our belt and be um, heading out to Oklahoma Baptist on the road. So tell me That's how great, you guys yeah. prepared for that tough game. Like I said, we'll, we'll, this is an ideal preparation game for us. We're not, look, we're not overlooking St. Greg's, that's for certain, but um, get a good win against St. Greg's, um, head out to OBU, it's going to be a real tough game. Uh, they've shown in the past couple of years that they are going to be uh, probably one of our closest rivals for the uh, conference. So we'll head out there, we'll do our best, we'll work hard and we'll give it a good shot. And what are some of the things that the team is still working on um, at this point in the season? I think the main thing we're trying to work on right now is just to continue to work hard. Um, we're gelling as a team. Uh, we know everybody's strengths, everybody's weaknesses. We know who can come in off the bench and help us out. Um, so I think it's just a case of working hard for 90 minutes. Sometimes we have a tendency to switch off during games um, and we know against better sides coming up this year that that'll probably cost us a game or two. So uh, for us, I think it's just concentrating, doing the small things right and, and working 100%. Okay, and everyone's telling me the team goal for the season is the national tournament, maybe even the national title. What are your personal goals? Personal goals for me, um, just getting as many starts as I can. Um, it's always tough because we've got so many good players to get in the starting 11, but if you get a shot, you need to take it with both hands. Um, just working hard in training. If I'm not starting, pushing the boys that are starting as hard as they can. Um, if, you, if you push them, you know they'll push the team even further. And At the end of the day, the team is more important, so whatever I can do to help the team, that's what I'm willing to do. Great. and. Um the team has a pink game on October 11th. It's both both the men and the women will be participating. So tell me about what. That That's means. correct. Yeah, on October the 11th, the uh, men and women's soccer team are going to be wearing pink jerseys. Um, these jerseys are to raise awareness for cancer. Mm -hmm. um, I believe shirts are still available, um, so you can see the girls about that. Um, and I think everyone's excited. It's not something we do um, all the time. I think this is the first year it's being done, so we're really excited. It's something different, and it's for a really good cause. Your dad, who was Fan of the Week a couple weeks ago, has promised me this is going to be the most watched show um, in the history of the show and that you know, it'll be seen by people from all over the world. So tell me about, about why that's going to be the case. He was Fan of the Week, yes. The boys love that. Um, this, is, this is probably going to go out to Australia. Uh, I've got family out there because my mum and dad are both Australian. Mm -hmm. So he's going to post it online for them to watch. Uh, I have friends, family back in England, so it's going to go out to them. And I have friends and, and uh, very close family out here in, in America as well. So um, it's probably going to be a worldwide uh, viewing, I think, okay. this week. And 
a lot of people are going to see it. So that's brilliant. Well, that's great. Um, so your parents are Australian, found their way to England. Um, and that's where actually you were born. So how has that multicultural experience been for you? Well, um, I've been to Australia a fair few times. Uh, I went when I was really little and we try and get out there as many as much times as we can to see the family. Um, obviously, it's a lot different out there. It's a lot hotter than England. Uh, there's fun stuff, so you can go to the beach, you know, you can go surfing, you can do all that good stuff. Um, and then in England, it's kind of more relaxed, you know, we, it's colder weather, which we, I love colder weather. Um, and, I'll, you know, it's just the best of both worlds, really. So you like the colder weather. What was your experience when you came to Oklahoma for the first time, your first year here? Oh, the first week when I came to Oklahoma, I remember coming with my dad, coming out of the airport. It just took my breath away how hot it was. But um, I think that's the, mo the one problem most freshmen do have is the weather. Um, it's all right walking around in it and doing day-to-day -day stuff. But when you play football, you don't realize how humid it is. So um, for me, the last couple of years have been pretty easy. You acclimatize to it very well. and especially this year i've done a lot of coaching throughout the midwest um, where it's been really really hot so for me i'm i've been ready to go for a long time this year and you plan to graduate in december um, physical education and business major what do you hope to do with that uh not 100 percent sure just yet um coaching soccer is very high on the agenda at the minute um i've been fortunate to do a lot of that during this summer um coaching kids of a, of a variety of ages um I've definitely picked up the business side to provide myself with more pathways, uh, more opportunities in life, um, but something definitely sport orientated. I think when I graduate. Well, thank you for being on the show. Thank you for I having look me. Look forward to a great conference play out of the guys this season. Thank you. And now it's time for fan of the week. If you want to be fan of the week, go to our USAO Drovers fan Facebook page and like our in the saddle link each week to enter to win. Each week we pick our fan of the week and they win an awesome t-shirt and is recognized on our show and on Facebook. Last week's Fan of the Week was Judy Jackson. Again, congratulations, Judy. This week's Fan of the Week is Print Shop Manager, Adam Heilman. Congratulations, Adam. That's it for this week. We'll see you next time on In the Saddle.